Okay, this is the other side of my room. I have a Hoopersia. This is a fern from the tropics. It hangs down like this from a tree. Um, it's kind of like a huge club moss. Um, and this beauty over here is a hybrid of Dendrobium nobili. I wish you could smell it. It smells very lovely, a very not overpowering, lovely smell. And this is my pride and joy, another Dendrobium nobile hybrid. It starts pink and uh, light yellow, and then it turns into this beautiful orange color. And this one is called this is its name, Dendrobium, or Dendrobium Oriental Smile Butterfly. It should be called Sunset or something if I had my way. And this is an Oncidium Orchid or Dancing Lady Orchid. Um, it's called Oncidium Sweet Sugar. It uh, makes these rhizomes and this is called the Pseudobulb. And these are cane orchids, the dendrobiums. If you look here, this is the cane. That's like a pseudobulb, but it's a long one. And I have some keikis here. They are baby plants. Instead of getting a flower spike, I'm getting a baby plant here, which is nice. I can propagate them. And this is an Encyclia randii radiatum. This is supposed to be a species. It makes green flowers, but this is a baby plant. And these are uh, Rhynchostylis gigantea plants. This is a purpley red one. And this is a Rhynchostylis gigantea or um, white. They both bloomed earlier in the last year for me. And they are they, I almost killed them and now they're back alive. I hydrated them. I think they're from parts of India and they're used to having a very big dry season. So you can spring, when spring rain comes, they come right back. And this is another cane orchid. This is called Dendrobium spectabile. I found a mealybug right in there. I took him out. And this is a baby. It makes these beautiful twisted flowers. And these are, what is this one? Oh yeah, this is a precious, my precious orchid. This is a species orchid. It's a yellow cattleya orchid. Cattleyas also have a rhizome kind of thing running. This is a baby. I think it would take me about two or three years to make it flower, but that's okay. And it's very hard to find this. This is very expensive. And this is a hybrid with a lovely fragrance. Um, it's called um, BLC George King Serendipities with salmon pink flowers. And this is my other Dendrobium um, Nobili hybrid. I've lost this tag. I have to figure out what it is. It, um, it makes white flowers with a tiny bit of pink on here. And these are the buds that still have to bloom. And this looks like I'm going to get a cakey right here, like this one. Not sure. And then I want to show you this guy. This is the original Dendrobium nobili hybrid uh, not the hybrid the species orchid it's very hard to find it grows in china laos vietnam kind of areas i got it from hauseman orchids and i am delighted can you see there are little nubbins and new roots with beautiful green tips these are the old canes it's mounted on a stick not a stick a big branch like it would grow in nature and it's supposed to make flowers from these um 
leaf axils on all the canes but i didn't make it go through a dry cold winter rest so mine is still kind of growing but it sheds some leaves it's supposed to be completely deciduous in the plant ones that bloom like this and here are my new growths i'm really delighted i have a bunch of new growths i don't know if you can see it yeah there's one right here if you can see also anyway that's that one and here are some more little vendors these will take about another two years to bloom but this is a, a teenage vanda i would say it's got a little spike that's from moth's orchids it's a lovely little yellow one i will make another video when it blooms and this one is a big vanda it's uh forget its name i got that from um Hausemann's too. It's supposed to make a blue orchid. It's a hybrid with Vanda cerulea. And this one, I recently acquired it. I only bought one plant, but the seller gave me two. And it's not in really good shape. It had roots hanging out. I put it in this clay orchid pot with some large pieces of lava rock, a few pieces of uh, moss and wood so that it's kind of in its natural habitat but i don't want the crazy roots hanging i can't i don't have space for that so i've all potted all my vandas like that in nature they just cling on to a tree and hang out um this window gets i have grow lights up here the barina grow lights two of them i have them on for about 14 hours a day in the winter time and then uh, this is another species these guys all on this end this is my window it's a southern facing window i get southern sunlight so i have these sheer curtains to reduce the sunlight and then i made this hanging thing for teeny mini pots these are like two inch pots with um hybrid orchids from the ptolemia species they are from the caribbean islands where they bake in the sun and grow on twigs on trees i grew them in a porous potting medium and they get a little bit of water spray i spritz with this um bottle dilute fertilizer juice and i want to show you i almost killed them look at this it's making a flower spike for me and i'm excited to see that and these are little um highlight orchids right here all of them some are babies um i will have to see what i get and that is it from me for now